Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Because of the high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens, be aware that repairing this appliance poses a substantial risk for injury or death if precautions are not taken. You should always unplug the microwave before you attempt any disassembly. Since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the microwave has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access and replace internal components. To replace the door latch lever in this Frigidaire microwave oven, you will need a T15 tamper-proof Torx bit, a Phillips head screwdriver, and needle nose pliers. Unthread the six rear screws securing the cover using the T15 tamper-proof Torx bit. Unthread the screw on the right side of the cover as well. Pull the rear sides of the cover out, then lift the cover up and pull back to fully remove. You should release the potentially stored electrical charge in the capacitor to avoid injury. You can do this by placing needle nose pliers with an insulated handle across each set of terminals. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the screws securing the control panel. Open the door and lift the control panel up to detach. Now note the orientation of the wires connected to the control board. Then disconnect the wire connectors. Use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the door latch bracket to the frame. Push the latch bracket assembly down to detach. For better access to the latch lever, note the orientation of the three door switches. Then release the retaining tabs to detach the switches from the bracket. Remove the old latch lever from the bracket, if still intact. To install the new door latch lever, align it on the bracket mounting post and snap it into position. Realign and snap the door switches into the bracket. With the switches secured, insert the bracket tabs into the slots in the frame and lift the bracket up to snap it into place. Rethread the two mounting screws to secure. Reinstall the control panel by connecting the wire connectors to the appropriate terminals on the control board.
Making sure the door release lever is positioned under the latch lever. Insert the lower tabs of the control panel into the slots in the frame. Then thread the screw to secure the panel. Reinstall the microwave oven cover by first aligning the top edge, then the sides. Thread and tighten the seven screws to secure. Plug the power cord back in, and the microwave oven should be ready for use.